feathers in my hair and braids around my waist. I'm almost a bird. Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to another Sophisticated Saturday where together we're gonna work through my to-do list and get things done around my apartment. This morning it is about 9.30. I always wake up really hungry, so we're gonna start today off with a little bit of brunch. I'm gonna make lemon ricotta pancakes. I think I'm gonna add some eggs as well, and then get to cleaning and doing other stuff off of my to-do list. So if you're ready for it, let's jump right into the video. Starting off with the lemon ricotta pancakes, I'm just adding one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar, and a teaspoon of salt and mixing those dry ingredients together. For my wet ingredients, I'm adding in three quarters of a cup of milk. I just added in some almond milk because I always have that on hand, half a cup of ricotta, and two large eggs. Once that's all mixed together, I added a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then the zest and juice of one lemon. This recipe I found from a new magazine called Delish, and I think it was their first ever publication of this magazine that is full of recipes, some of the prettiest pictures I've ever seen. I found it at my mom's house, and when I read the magazine, I wanted to keep every single recipe. She was so nice and got me a subscription to Delish as well. So I ripped out a bunch of different recipes from that one, and the first publication was all breakfast, so I have a bunch of different breakfast and pancake recipes that I can't wait to try. But this one just sounded really good and light. I've never made lemon ricotta pancakes at home, so I thought it would be a fun one to start with. I like to get the griddle or skillet in this case nice and warmed up, so while that gets warm, I'm adding my eggs into a bowl and scrambling those up. As well as picking up the kitchen, I want to try and clean as I go. So by the time all of the pancakes are done, I'm not in a kitchen with a complete disaster. Now that those pancakes are going, I can head back and continue to do even more cleaning. So I'm trying to multitask as much as possible this morning and wipe off the countertops while those pancakes are cooking on the first side, flip them over, and then I can head over to the dishwasher and start unloading that while the other side continues to cook. Just so we'll stay hollow. Mm -hmm. 
It has been a while since I've done a fun brunch like this for Jim and I. I used to love doing this all the time, and I think for some reason it's just kind of gotten away from us, but breakfast and brunch is one of my favorite meals, and it's something fun to do on the weekends. It's actually something I kind of look forward to as a mom and sharing memories with our baby once he gets a little bit older and is eating solid foods and all of that stuff, but... I am excited for all of us to sit around the table in the mornings and have lazy weekends together and have a delicious brunch. You'll see I didn't even bother making the bed or anything when I first got up. I just went straight into the kitchen and started those pancakes and then could go back and make the bed when I had a little bit more time. Of course, I got myself ready. I knew I was going to be filming, so I wanted to get dressed and stuff first, although some videos I've definitely filmed in my pajamas. But I did want to get myself put together and then start breakfast and multitask while the pancakes were cooking because I knew that those take a while, especially when you make a bunch of them. My mom suggested that I put a larger griddle on my wedding registry when Jim and I got married and I never actually did that and I do feel like it's kind of a regret of mine that I don't have that as a part of my kitchen arsenal because I do like to make things like pancakes and things where it would be nice to have a little bit more space to cook on. So let me know if you're somebody that has a griddle and if you have a specific one that you recommend or if you feel like it's a good item to have in your kitchen or maybe just a waste of space and I shouldn't do it. Now that the pancakes are done, we can sit down to the table and enjoy our little brunch together and have some pancakes and eggs. It's a really good way to start the day. And every time I have a brunch like this, I definitely don't need lunch, even though it's not that late in the morning yet. It just fills me up much more than a normal breakfast would and holds my stomach off until dinner, which is rare for me. This sophisticated Saturday is a little bit different because I took a break in the middle of it and actually left the house, ran some errands with Jim, and we even picked up groceries. So now that I'm back at the apartment, I'm going to put away all of the groceries and get them cleaned up. Break, how to go when you're fed up with mistakes. Maybe I just found the answers. Maybe I just found the answers in you. Another task on my to-do list this weekend was to catch up on some of my orders from my website and get those all ready to ship out. I had a few where people ordered my daily or weekly planner pads and a couple other ones where people ordered labels, which are of course more time intensive. And some of the ones that were ordered specifically this weekend were smaller labels, which always take me longer because they're a little bit more detailed depending on the font that somebody picks but I set my iPad up as you can see and put a show on and I really don't mind doing it it's kind of fun and relaxing for me to do start to heal when I'm with you and I can't explain how I feel when I'm with you just give a little bit of your heart give a little bit of your heart to me
So I shared in a previous video that there are some new fun things coming to my shop soon. There are at least three new items that are going to be coming out soon and I will continue to update you guys when those items are coming out. But if there's anything you would love to see in my shop, let me know. I am excited to continue to expand the different things that I offer, different types of labels, different things that revolve around cleaning and organizing and productivity and all those types of things. We could really meet Layers It's time to lose these naysayers We're better off The air will be richer And everything so much easier I still do like to write a handwritten note with all of my orders that go out because this is a small business and I really do want to thank everyone that takes the time to choose to order from my website and really either trusts me or likes the products that I'm selling. It just makes me feel good and I want to make sure I'm thanking them for ordering from me. It wouldn't be a sophisticated Saturday without a little bit of cleaning. So I wanted to get in and clean my guest bathroom as well as our master bathroom. I started in the guest bathroom and just did my standard bathroom clean, wiping off the mirrors, wiping off the countertops, as well as the toilet, and then moving into my master and doing the exact same thing. Feathers in my hair and braids around my waist I'm almost a bird These mountain views and pink sunsets Got me shit and skin
tickles Oh, what a joyful feeling I think I'm gonna stay here Under all these rains And soak up the sun for hanging out with me today. I have a bunch of other stuff to do on my computer for the rest of the afternoon. I also wanna try and get in a workout, then I just start getting dinner ready. This whole day has just gotten away from me, but I have been productive the entire day, so I'm gonna kind of rest and sit down for a bit and work on my computer. If you guys liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and until next time, I will see you guys later.